again and uh, a surprise to some of you because I'm not in my um, <laughs> I'm not in my workshop as I promised I would be in my last video. I'm actually in the kitchen again and uh, this time it's a very special uh, little video and it's only short because I decided to make or attempt to make the Jubilee trifle um, over this Jubilee weekend. Now you may remember the BBC held a competition and uh, for, uh, for, for a trifle or a pudding for the Queen's um, Plattingham Jubilee. Well, uh, there were 5,000 entries for that, and um, one there was it wasn't me that won it. Unfortunately, I didn't even enter. But there were 5,000 entries for it, and it was won by a Gemma Melvin. Now Gemma produced a trifle, and the trifle was uh, it, it was a lemon Swiss roll trifle with. Uh, amaretto biscuits uh, and jelly custard and all the other elements that make a terrific trifle and she produced that and it was judged on the BBC by um, uh, very famous chefs um, and uh, it won the competition. Now um, I'm going to show you some shots of my construction of this pudding uh, but it wasn't easy and the reason it wasn't easy was that there's so many components to it. In fact, there are 10 different elements to making this particular trifle. Now, I have not made a trifle for ages, and I didn't realize, although it's a simple construction, um, how many elements were in there and how many of those elements had to be made individually. For instance, uh, Emirato biscuits um, I made, and there's some biscuits here. And they, on their own, took um, you know a couple of hours to make, um, separating the eggs and various other things to make the biscuits. I must admit, on this one, I cheated with the Swiss roll. I did buy um, some lemon Swiss roll to make the layers down the bottom. But after the lemon Swiss roll, you have to make uh, a mandarin coulis, which which is another layer. Then you have to do the custard, which is another layer. I use shop-bought custard, but of course it's too thin, so I had to thicken the custard to put in there. And then after that, you have a layer of um, the, the biscuits, which goes in the custard I've already mentioned, and um, then uh, the cream, which actually tops it. So there's lots, in fact, there's 10 elements to this pudding. Well, eventually I got it finished, and um, and here it is. Let me just show you. It's a bit of a beast. Um, this thing weighs uh, 6.5 kilograms and uh, 14 pounds. So it's a, a lot of a lot of trifle, and it's more than just for the afternoon couple having tea together. So this one's actually going to be donated to a tea party, um, which is taking place uh, later today on the lawn of the local hall. So that will be form part of the food. Excuse me, I need a drink. So that's the trifle. And um, as I said, there are lots and lots of elements to it. Don't be uh, put off by it. There are ways around, you know, little cheats you can do, such as I did by making this, by, by buying the Swiss roll. But if you make it all from scratch, my, it's a work of art and it's going to take you a while to do it. And as I've said, it's quite expensive to do as well. So um, let's get on. I'll show you some of the clips that I've made when I was constructing this pudding, or this trifle, and uh, I hope that later on it's enjoyed. So let's have a look at some of these clips. So here are some of the ingredients that uh, I had to procure. Not all that easy, um, because some of the shops didn't have some of the items, so it meant going around to various shops. Arrowroot, uh, you see a packet of Amaretti biscuits there, but actually I made my own. I bought those just in case mine failed. But um, yeah, there's quite an extensive shopping list, and as I've said before, it's not particularly cheap. Once, the only thing I did buy was a Swiss roll, <coughs> oh, excuse me, and that's it, um, sliced lemon Swiss roll, and it actually used three for this particular size pudding. So lemon Swiss roll um, arranged around the outside of the dish, 
and then what was left on the inside. And that's it with the layer of jelly put on. Once you've added the jelly, you have to then put it in the fridge for three to four hours um, for the jelly to set because uh, before you apply other layers to it. That's me preparing the uh, Amaretti biscuits. So I separated the egg whites and uh, whisking the egg, wh egg whites now to make the biscuit. So um, that's quite a job and separating eggs is uh, not easy if you haven't done it for a little while. But um, that was sorted. And there are the finished Amaretti biscuits. Um, I didn't use them as whole actually in the final uh, pudding. I crumbled them to make a layer of uh, Amaretti crumble. Uh, I thought that would be slightly better than hitting a full biscuit when you actually cut into the trifle. So that's what I've, I've done there. And um, they were very tasty. And the ones I didn't use in the trifle, we ate. And there's the uh, the Swiss roll arranged. Uh, that picture should have been prior to the other one. But it's all arranged, ready to receive the jelly. So, so far, so good. And uh, you can see in the jugs the... Um, the, the jellies waiting to go on and there it is assembled uh, partly assembled you've got the, the pudding you've got the uh, uh, you've got the jelly you've got the custard uh, the biscuits and the mandarin coolie are on the top making the coolie wasn't that easy I um, slacking uh, uh, arrowroot wasn't something I have ever done before but it seemed to work and it made it into sort of a, a jam um, mandarin uh, coolie and there's the thing finished and assembled and uh, quite pleased with that quite a lot of it to to actually do um, and it weighed oh it weighed what did it weigh it, it weighed um, 14 pounds altogether so um, uh, not a, a, a lightweight trifle but uh, very pleased with the results. And then on the top of it, you can see I've sprinkled um, some mixed peel and uh, some amaretti crumbs and some white chocolate. And there's another final view, this time with the all-important whipped cream on. And I used lots of that and piled it up to make it look more impressive. Here I am again. Um, hope you enjoyed that very, very short video. All I would say is that because of the amount of time it takes and the cost of it, because um, a bottle of this stuff doesn't come cheap to make the biscuits, so you can buy biscuits ready-made, of course, um, and grown almonds uh, aren't cheap either. I think I ended up paying £4 for the amount of almonds I had to use in the biscuits alone. So not a, a very uh, cheap thing to make. And then on top of that, of course, you've got your fruit and, and um, all the other bits that go into it, and your Swiss rolls if you buy them. So quite an expensive thing to make. And not only that, it's getting hold of the components. I think I spent oh, at least a day going to various supermarkets getting all the bits I needed to make it. And it's not something that's quick. So if someone said to you, can you make um, a, a Jubilee uh, trifle, for our celebration tea tonight, the answer would have to be no. You need at least a week's notice, I would suggest. But anyway, there we go. Um, it looks good and hopefully it's going to taste good. Um, and it's just a little bit of, uh, I wanted to do it because it was a bit of a channel, oh, excuse me, I need a drink. I wanted to do it because it was a bit of a challenge, but I have done it. Next video, Hopefully, well, it's nearly finished. I'm making a, a tech video, so I'll be back in the workshop very soon. Um, but for this one, uh, I'm going to say goodbye. Oh, let me show you the T-shirt I bought, because I'm going to do some more baking as well. I'm quite enjoying baking again now. Let me just do a reveal. There we go. Um, and I hope that that is true. So, <laughs> once again, thank you very much for watching. And uh, take care, look after yourselves, and however you're celebrating today, I hope you have a very, very good time. As always, take care.